just got home for the birthday weekend. Um, had a great time down in Orlando. Shout out to everybody that was down there. Uh, but that's not really the purpose of why I'm talking right now. I get home and I look on Alumni Roundup. Uh, my man Tim Jones sent me this. And I see a great short written article about uh, Paris versus Porus, Occupy the Throne or Rip It from the Foundation. It's basically talking about Most Def's song uh, where he flipped niggas in Paris. And I feel like Most did a great job. I wanted to write something about it, but I'm a better talker than I am a writer. So decided to do a video. And I really don't think the, the point of Most is to diss Jay and Ye. I think Most is giving his perspective and using that song as he normally does to create social commentary, which I love. I absolutely love the song. I think Most is one of my favorite MCs of all time uh, because of the, the way that he chooses to approach music. But if you really listen to what he's saying, he, it's not a diss. I think that we in hip hop have come to this point where we can't really celebrate the fact that somebody is winning or that somebody is excellent at what they do or that somebody generates a lot of money from what they do and, and we don't understand the result of that. Or a point that I always make all the time is that this is a new ground for us, uh, for young brothers having this much money and what they should do with it. And you know, sometimes we get caught up in this this having to have a dichotomy, meaning we have to either be on one side or the other. And I don't think it's that. I think it should be about balance. I mean, you know, as most does, he 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 normally starts off most of his songs saying in the name of Allah. So we know the point of reference from the beginning of what most is trying to do. Um, but this is not a new argument. This takes us back to you know Du Bois versus Booker T. Washington. It's the same thing. Is it, 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 should we occupy the throne or sit in the throne or should we tear the throne down? And I think when people look at it and say that Jay and Ye are talking about the throne in terms of uh, of ruling, that's strictly for hip hop, you know. And that can that can be debated as to where you sit on that side. But as any MC, Jay and and Kanye are going to put themselves in that position and say that they're the best. You know, and if you feel different, then you, you, you come out and test that or you come out and put out better music. But I don't think that what most is doing is is definitely a diss. Um, I think that if, if you look at the title, just niggas in Paris and what that represents, um, being able to say, you know, the word nigga, wherever you stand at on that on that issue we choose to use that word as an empowerment word, you know, and that's been argued a million times, but I like to view that word as an empowerment word. It means that I can call myself whatever I want. At the same time, I'm not disrespecting my elders, and I still understand the hell that they went through underneath of that word. But I think that that's the greatest thing that you can do is, is to take that word and to flip it and to make it an empowerment word. Now the word loses all of its power. So when we say niggas in Paris, is really saying that I'm not changing that I'm somebody from the hood that is now in these areas. And when I read this article and, and, and break down what the person is saying, um, I think I think you kind of missed the point to, to call it the medicine of, of social commentary flavored by the bacon of, of, of catchy, you know, speaker rattling beats is an insult. It's definitely not bacon. Or, or when you use that term bacon, obviously as a Muslim, uh, you're talking about something that, you know, that Muslims don't eat or, or that we see as, as, as uh, ugly or negative. And I don't think it's that. I think uh, niggas in Paris is, is a celebration of where people are. And it's to say that we did come from the poorest of the poor as a people and that we now have the opportunity to do that. What Moses Angle is saying is that just because you two are in Paris, don't forget that the rest of your people are not in Paris. And I think that's an important point as well. So at the same time that we can celebrate with Jay and Ye and see them as representations of us, we still need the most deaths that are going to ground the rest of the people and say, don't forget where your people came from. So I guess my point is that we have to get beyond this either one side or the other. The minister said it best that the key to your success is unity. 
until you unify, you won't have success. And I think us as a people for not just for our generation, but for years have been trying to define what that success means. Does it does it mean that we're in certain positions in the government? Does it mean that uh, we have certain clubs or things of that nature? Or does it mean that we rule by ourselves? And like I said, this is an old argument. This goes back to, you know, whether or not we should have left, you know, uh, America in the first place and went back to Africa with the Marcus Garvey movement. Um, the, like, I, you know, these are not new concepts. It's just that now we're engaged in it from a hip hop perspective. So my point really is that don't, don't take Moses video as a diss. Everybody knows that most rocks with Kanye. I rock with most crazy. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily take it as a diss I would take it as people being themselves and most making a commentary on what he feels as though needs to be said at the time and I totally agree with him you, you don't get caught up in no throne you don't get caught up in these things that um, will have you wanting and, and, and wishing for something that's outside of your means but at the same time does that say that Kanye and Jay-Z should not celebrate their wins I think they should. I think they should shout to the world that they celebrate exactly where they are and who they are. You know, it, it matters not to me if you know what, you know, Moncello or whatever Kanye was talking about. I'm not into fashion, so that really don't, doesn't bother me. But if you are into fashion, understand that, that Kanye is out there, you know what I'm saying, putting his foot into the fashion world. That should be celebrated if that's something that that man wants to do. If you're not into that, you're just not into that. The same way I'm not into that, so it don't bother me. Um, but I would just say that for the argument's sake, just remember where we are, remember who we are, and remember that as, you know, black people have a lot of different angles and a lot of, a lot of different ways of living. We don't just live one way. So all aspects of life should be allowed to be celebrated and should allow, should be allowed to, you know, to be recognized. But at the same time, we do have a responsibility for those of us that that make it out of certain financial situations to realize that the majority of people in our family probably not out of that situation or the majority of people in our hood is probably not out of that situation. So those with the money have the greater responsibility to give back to the hood. Now, does that mean that Kanye and Jay are supposed to just write a blank check to the hood? No. That's why people set up foundations. That's why Jay has a foundation or does things to give back in that way. But it's not going to be just give me a handout. It's going to be give me a scholarship or it's going to be give me a job. You know, people run around here and talk about this one or that one is, is a, uh, you know, is a conscious MC. And a lot of the conscious MCs that I see out there just use words. They may learn 5% knowledge. They may learn a couple of words. And as long as they use those words in their raps, you think that they're conscious while at the same time those real concepts of black empowerment um are being done by a jay-z where he's giving people like myself jobs to the point where i could purchase a house or something like that um you know how many people do you employ that's really the point of it so if we go back to this old you know the boys booker t washington debate just understand that at the end of the day we need unity Everybody needs to be together in order for us to progress as a people. We can argue about the road that we want to take, but let's not spend as much time on it as, as, as Malcolm and Martin did. Let's figure it out and move. That's really the point. What are we doing to move people out of those situations, to not be in the poorest situations, to help the disenfranchised people of your neighborhood and, and in essence, the world, because you, the world is your neighborhood. The more you travel, the more you'll understand that. There's disenfranchised people all over the world that are living way worse than the way that we live in America. Um, but I guess my my overall thing is to not make it into a diss. Please don't take most deaf's expression as a diss. That man is allowed to express himself, and I love his expression. I just wish that if more of you agree with what most said, then I don't understand why his albums are multi-platinum. I mean, because his last album, you know to me was his greatest album he hit the nail on the head but then it's like i gotta run around and tell everybody about it and make them pick it up before they understand that so you know this is just my opinion on it but i'm saying it's not a diss i'm saying that most is allowed to say whatever he want to say 
and I'd agree with him and I and I love most Def for the way that he raps about all these different subjects. And at the same time, I don't think it's anything wrong with Jay and Kanye celebrating the fact that they have wins or the fact that they are in Paris or can, you know, influence people to that point of, of culture and, and be a tastemaker of the world to let people understand you a little bit better by understanding them. And that's really the whole point.